What's up, YouTube? Got this video here. Um, I just decided to do it because uh, I haven't put up a real video in a while. I, you know, I did a fit of the day, and I did a vlog, and I, that's it, really. So, just wanted to do something, like, kind of for real, I guess. So, I'm just doing the sneaker collection. Uh, this is just my sneaker collection so far. Uh, it's, I, I definitely am going to get it bigger. And I'm looking to get the Olympic 6s in a month when they come out, a little less than a month. Um, bread 4s, bread 11s, uh, some other stuff too. Like some other non-Jordan stuff, but uh, yeah. Trying to get KD4 Black History Months if I can find them for a decent price. So yeah, after that, whatever. My, uh, my, my scene collection number 2, that'll be a lot better than this. But I just wanted to let you guys in on my scene collection so far. So here is my sneakers basically I don't have a lot it's not very big it's not very good so, so far but that's what they are I rock all my shoes so yeah start off right here with the Derrick Rose 2.5 uh, the playoff edition I use these for basketball you can see they're crazy uh, um, greased they're really nice really good for basketball they have a really good fit. At first they fit a little tight, but once you break them in, they fit perfect. Good ankle support with this little thing on the side, whatever it is. So I, I think uh, those are really nice for basketball. And I got these 8.0s. Uh, this is basically the first shoe I bought with my own money. Yeah, first shoe I bought with my own money because I kind of just got into shoes and I'm a freshman, so my parents are making me buy my own like hats. Well, they've kind of always made me buy my own hats. But, uh, hats and, like, sneakers and whatever, so. Just got this, I got it for 100 it was a pretty good deal. Because it was on sale and I had $20 off, so. I mean, it looks fresh. Uh, even though it's not really, like, sought after and, no, like, it's kind of, like, frowned upon, I guess. <laughs> um, it still looks cool. And people that aren't sneakerheads will still appreciate it. Like, I've gotten compliments on that from people that aren't sneakerheads. So I feel like that's still cool. Like, good to have, whatever. I got these. Uh, Hyperdunks, uh, Michigan State, for the game that they played on the, on the battleship against, uh, UNC. Uh, as you can see, it's just digital camel all over with, like, the, uh, forest green. I'm not sure the actual colorway, but it's like a dark green, forest green. Really nice. Uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable. Um, seem like they'd be good for basketball. I don't use them for basketball, but it seem like they'd be good with, like, carbon fiber and whatever. Those are pretty nice. Got some compliments on that. Like, people that aren't sneakerheads, they don't know, like, the difference between... Well, they know the difference between a Jordan and a regular Nike, but they're not going to know, like, all the stuff behind it and all that, you know? So, I, I guess, uh, even though, he, like, these two, even these, like, four, basically, really aren't cared about at all, they they still get compliments. Not really the stuffs, but... Actually, you know what? These two get more compliments than these two from random people. And these two are Jordans, these two aren't, like, I don't know. It's, it, like, with other people, they just like the shoe. They don't care about all the stuff behind it. So, after I just kind of went on rambling on, let's get on to the next shoe. As you can see, it's the Orion 7. It's got these at the Nike outlet, like, 110. Uh, it was a pretty good deal, so I decided to get them. Uh, I didn't think I would end up getting them, because they came out, like, last year. And, uh, they, they didn't sell it quick, but they're at the Nike outlet. Sometimes they get, like, older stuff, so... I found it. It was a pretty good deal. Only thing I don't like about them is they crease really easily right on the sides, but it's all good. They're really comfortable, actually. So yeah, back here to the Stealth Tens. These I I've like basically since I saw the pictures of these, I really liked them, and I knew I wanted to get them. Um, I'm I'm glad I did. They're pretty comfortable. See the sole. I really love the sole, the writing, all the stuff. 94 Beyond and all that. Because they, they thought he wasn't going to come back, so they just hit 94 Beyond, you know what I mean? Um, I guess, yeah, that's all you can say about that. It's pretty sick. The checkerboard really sets it off. Checkerboard on the inside really sets it off. So, yeah, this is taking longer than I expected. I'm going to get this uh, through faster. So, these are my Bordeaux Spizikes. These are, these are really nice. Um, I just, I really like these. The, the Spike Lee logo on this shoe. I love the that logo. Or the, well, the Mars Blackman logo, technically. Um, 
wish the Fire Red 4s that are coming out, I wish those had the Mars on the side, but it's all good. They're still, they're still nice. I might be trying to get those. Not sure yet. Because I can't get, I don't have a lot of money since I'm only 15, so I can't get a lot of shoes, but... So, yeah. There's those. I, I really like those. So, yeah. And they're, they're comfortable, too. LeBron 9s. All the rest are my LeBron 9s. So, you can see I kind of set it up like... Um, well, Adidas, Nike, Jordan, and then LeBron 9s. Which, uh, Nike, but whatever. So, this is uh, Free Gums. Free Gums around the inside. First, I really didn't like that this was the free gum print on the toe and stuff all around the white was in white. But in person, you can actually see it really nice and it, uh, it looked really good all white. So, I think either way, it would still look really nice whether it was black or white. I think either way, the shoe is still pretty fresh. Simple, but still pretty fresh. Uh, and, the, and the red really kind of just pops on the all black and white. And then here you got some of the Hornets. So many people have these. But I still really like them. Wore these today with you see I'm wearing this purple Jordan shirt. Ugh. Yeah, purple Jordan shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, you can see the purple really shines. Uh, it's really bright, really really loud. I guess the teal really it looks nice. Uh, still haven't found any teal laces or turquoise laces. Uh, if I find any, I'll definitely put them in. And now I'll rock it like that. So yeah, these are really nice. And uh, the the LJ is still intact on both shoes, even though I've worn these probably five times, at least. And then these, these ones, it's going away. I've probably worn them like ten times. And then these, I personally have worn like three times, and it's all almost gone. But my friend before it said he wore them about four times, and the kid that had them before that wore them about like two times. So yeah. Because it went from my f my friend's friend, who, who they were too small, and then to my friend, who they were too big, and then to me, who they fit nice. <laughs> so these are the cannons. I really love them. The orange laces are sick. I just really love them. The Volt really pops. They they can they uh, break necks, you know? They're just really sick. The preheats, you know? <laughs> so the speckled print is cool, too. Uh, I, w I would kind of like to see an orange speckled print and see what that looks like. I don't know if it would be better or worse, but kind of interested to see what it would look like. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's my shoe collection. This video is longer than I uh, thought it was going to be, but just a quick overview from the beginning. D-Rose, 2.5, 8.0s, Hyperdunks, Orion 7s, Stealth 10s, Puerto Spizikes, Free Gums, Hornets, and my Cannons. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. My battery's running low, so I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe for more sneaker and hat videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.